GPPSB MUD 2018-2019-2020-2021 The crisis in Venezuela is an ongoing socio-economic and political crisis that began in Bolivarian Venezuela during the presidency of Hugo Chavez and has continued since. It has been marked by hyperinflation, escalating starvation, disease, crime and mortality rates, resulting in massive emigration from the country. According to economists interviewed by the New York Times, the situation is by far the worst economic crisis in Venezuela's history and is also the worst facing a country in peacetime since the mid-20th century. The crisis is also more severe than that of the United States during the Great Depression. The 1985-1994 Brazilian economic crisis, or the 2008-2009 hyperinflation in Zimbabwe. Other American writers have also compared aspects of the crisis, such as unemployment and GDP contraction, to that of Bosnia and Herzegovina after the 1992-1995 Bosnian War, and those in Russia, Cuba and Albania following the collapse of the Eastern Bloc in 1989 and the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. On 2 June 2010, Chavez declared an economic war due to increasing shortages in Venezuela. The crisis intensified under the Maduro government, growing more severe as a result of low oil prices in early 2015, and a drop in Venezuela's oil production from lack of maintenance and investment. The government failed to cut spending in the face of falling oil revenues, and has dealt with the crisis by denying its existence and violently repressing opposition. Extrajudicial killings by the Venezuelan government became common with the United Nations reporting 5,287 killings by the Special Action Forces in 2017, with at least another 1,569 killings recorded in the first six months of 2019. The UN had reasonable grounds to believe that many of these killings constitute extrajudicial executions and characterize the security operations as aimed at neutralizing, repressing and criminalizing political opponents and people critical of the government. The UN also stated that the special action forces would plant arms and drugs and fire their weapons against the walls or in the air to suggest a confrontation and to show the victim had resisted authority, and that some of the killings were done as a reprisal for participation in anti-government demonstrations. Political corruption, chronic shortages of food and medicine, closure of businesses, unemployment, deterioration of productivity authoritarianism, human rights violations, gross economic mismanagement and high dependence on oil have also contributed to the worsening crisis. As a response to human rights abuses, the degradation in the rule of law, and corruption, the European Union, the Lima Group, the United States and other countries have applied individual sanctions against government, officials and members of both the military and security forces. The United States would later extend its sanctions to the petroleum sector. Supporters of Chavez and Maduro have said that the problems result from an economic war on Venezuela and falling oil prices, international sanctions, and the country's business elite, while critics of the government say the cause is years of economic mismanagement and corruption. Most observers cite anti-democratic governance, corruption, and mismanagement of the economy as causes of the crisis. Others attribute the crisis to the socialist, populist, or hyperpopulist nature of the government's policies and the use of these policies to maintain political power. In 2018, the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights documented that information gathered indicates that the socio-economic crisis had been unfolding for several years before international sanctions with Michelle Bachelet saying in 2019 that the social and economic crisis was dramatically deteriorating. The government had not acknowledged or addressed the extent of the crisis, and she expressed concern that although the pervasive and devastating economic and social crisis began before the imposition of the first economic sanctions, the sanctions could worsen the situation. National and international analysts and economists have stated that the crisis is not the result of a conflict, natural disaster, or sanctions, 
but rather of the consequences of populist policies and corrupt practices that began under the Chavez administration's Bolivarian Revolution and continued under the Maduro administration. The crisis has affected the life of the average Venezuelan on all levels. By 2017, hunger had escalated to the point where almost 75% of the population had lost an average of over 8 kilograms in weight and more than half did not have enough income to meet their basic food needs. An UN report estimated in March 2019 that 94% of Venezuelans lived in poverty. And by 2021 almost 20% of Venezuelans had left their country. The UN analysis estimates in 2019 that 25% of Venezuelans need some form of humanitarian assistance.